Hello. Another short little fun video that I'm doing right after the other video I just did. Game of Thrones. I haven't watched all of it. I don't have any of the books. But I think everyone has a list of characters that if they die, they will give up Game of Thrones. So yeah, because the Game of Thrones is a medieval storyline in which there's lots of backstabbing and plot ticking and characters die a lot. It's like the like the Sopranos or something. Anyway, and uh, good guy characters die. Like there's good characters that die all the time. So you don't bad guy characters die too. But so you don't you don't know who's safe and who isn't. Because usually how it is is you have the white hats and the black hats. And the white hats kill the black hats. So you usually know that if someone has a white hat, they're safe. Not in Game of Thrones. In Game of Thrones, in fact, white hats seem to die more often than black hats. You know, and if you're from another country and you don't get the analogy, uh, white hat refers to cowboys who are good and black hats refer to cowboys that are bad because in old westerns they used to have like a color hat system where the, the lighter your hat was, the more of a good guy you were. That's silly. It wasn't always literally like that in Westerns. It's just sort of an analogy for good guys and bad guys. It's used in hackers now. There's white hat hackers and black hat hackers and gray hat hackers. What am I even talking about? Anyway, on to the point. My list of ca characters that if they die in Game of Thrones, I'm done with Game of Thrones. And it's only one. Only one character. Arya Stark. If the Arya Stark character dies, done with Game of Thrones. Tyrion? Maybe. I might be done with Game of Thrones if Tyrion dies, because he's pretty cool. But Arya Stark is hands down the coolest character in the whole show. In fact, they could just do a whole show about her. It'd be great. Or a movie. A Game of Thrones movie, and it's just Arya Stark. That'd be fine with me. I mean, Arya Stark is... It's like a uh, tomboyish uh, noble lady who's like, screw this, becomes a freaking assassin, worships death, like, prays to the god of death, saying, Valor Margaris, instead of Amen, which is all men are mortal, to all the bad guys. She prays the names of all the bad guys that she's going to take out. She's one of the White Hats, by the way. She's a good guy character. Even though I kind of, she kind of sounds nasty just then. She only kills bad people. Really bad people who, like, do bad things. She's just also an assassin noble lady who's, like, ten and stabs bad guys in the face. Yeah. So sh that's kind of cool. Plus, she seems to be the only good guy character who's really good at fighting. Most of the good guy characters don't seem to be as great. Anyway... And they seem to just be very dieable. <laughs> Maybe I'm just saying that because I remember all the good guy characters who've died in this game show so far. Anyway, I'm just going to end this with a question. Sorry for the ramble. Um, which character is on your list of is on, of characters that if they they die, you're done with Game of Thrones? Is it just, do you even have a list? Is it a large list? Da da da, you know, whatever. So tell me in the comments section.